Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and walkthrough and this time we are getting it all in the ultimate game of the year, Peppa Pig World Adventures. Now this was developed by Paytoon Studio, developed by Outright Games, OG Ambassadors Club 2023 and is usually available for £34.99 slash $39.99 but Expect it to be on Game Pass relatively soon. Now, I say that since a few of Outright Games, 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 Games have been on, as well as the first Pepperoni Pig game. So, yes, the cheeky little Pepperoni Piggo is back. And this time, she's making a new friend. And this time, she's taking this random kid she's just literally just met all around the world. I mean, fair play, I take that opportunity up and snap it right up. Does anyone want to take me around the world, please? No? Okay, well, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? So, as for achievements, they are just as easy as the first one. Mostly are story-related. One or two you'll need to slightly go out of your way to get. And make sure to pick up a couple of souvenirs for your hard work and dedication. And, of course, another achievement. All in all, you're looking at around 30 to 35 minutes to get the full 1,000. So, with that being said, then, well, let's do it. Now, obviously, there'll be quite a number of times we'll just be going from right to left, as is the norm with Peppa Pig, because even in the TV show, she doesn't seem to go sort of anywhere else apart from left or right. Maybe up sometimes. Uh, we will pick a new friend, and this is the customer characterization screen. So you can characterize your customization whatever way you want. You can pick his clothes, you can put a, uh, change him into a him or a her. You can choose whatever animal you want. I'm going for little devil horns on top. Because I'm a rocker, 666 and stuff, yeah. And you can pick whatever colour skin suits your needs. Um, I'm also going for the deliciousness rainbow glasses because I am LGBTQ plus fam. And I'm also going for a top hat to give myself a little bit of class as well. So, <laughs> and if you're not looking like this, you're a nobody, I'm afraid. And I'm sorry to tell you, but this is what, this is peak male performance now, this. Rainbow glasses, top hat for class, and of course, basically big round belly. It's it's the ultimate, the ultimate form. Right, so this is of course a tutorial in just case you haven't played it before. Uh, you can press and hold the A button to skip at any cutscenes, which of course we will be doing in here. And anytime you see something you can interact with uh, by just by pressing the A button, you can do that. Keep spamming the A button here to jump into the muddy puddle. Now, the narrator here says everyone loves jumping in muddy puddles, but I can tell you right now that it really... It's fun to see my daughter jump in muddy puddles, and then I think, oh crap, i got to tidy this up, haven't I? And i got to bath her and stuff, and... Man, I'm just too lazy for anything. So anyway, once that's done, we can keep going to the right-hand side here, and obviously skip any cutscene that you can. This is another one that you can skip. It'll basically go to your parents' customization screen, What's funny is we're barely going to see our parents at all, while our mother or father... Um, now, you can either press the tick button here or you can just go back and uh, choose whatever you want, mama or papa. Again, any skin colour, any um, um, animal, any t-shirt colour, whatever it is. It's funny that you don't see anyone on Peppa Pig with, with abs, do you? It's uh, just funny. It's funny to me. Anyway, here is my papa. Big Bull. And once that's done, once you've picked whoever you want anyway, you can just go ahead and add another one or tick to finish. And that's exactly what we're going to do. This is a peak male performance family right here, as you can see. Um, so as soon as we are done, we can... Come on, bruh. All right, there we go. There we go. Right, now we are good to go. Are you ready to start? The ultimate game of the year. So all we're going to do with, uh, for now is, again, skip the cutscene anytime you can. And just go ahead, kick the ball by pressing the A button. You're going to have to do this twice. Uh, by the way, this is the worst goalkeeping I have ever seen. What oh, shot. Jesus. What, what do you mean, what a shot? I, I, I passed it to you. I barely kicked it, damn it. Anyway, do it again. Pass the world's worst goalkeeper. Um... A couple spring to mind in the real football, or sorry, soccer terms, but um, well, we'll uh, come back to that later on. So once that's done, again, we can skip the cutscene, and now we're going to meet our big chin friend, Peppa Pig. I don't know why her chin looks bigger in the game than it does on the TV show, unless I just haven't been watching correctly, which is probably right. 
Right, now you can customise your house. So again, you can do that whatever way you want. I'm going to go for a nice little pirate roof, because why not? Um, and I'm also going to go for some epic windows here. Now look at... That is a fancy old house. And of course, uh, you, you can always get a decoration there with a chicken, because you can't go wrong. Um, yeah, just as long as no, uh, you know, KFC members are sticking around, as long as the colonel's not here. Right, again, skip all the cutscenes, and then we're just going to head to the left to head outside. And it's all Peppa Pig and her family. Hi, guys, what's up? Yes, I am the new neighbour. Ho, ho, ho. Right, so what we're going to do then, we're going to uh, head to the playgroup now. So you can jump on the bike here by pressing the A button again. Obviously, left stick to move. We're going to go right, and you can press the A, hold the A button to go faster. And you can ring the bell with the X button. All right, Granny Pig. What's up, Chin Bobs? Well, I'll, uh, well, I guess I'll see you later. So what we're going to do, there's going to be another couple of cutscenes here that we can skip. So once that's done, skippity skip skip. Hello, Peppa. Ah. And after the skippity skip skip, all we're going to do is very slowly now. Uh, oh, my God, we're floating. How the hell are we floating? Oh, jeez. What the? Peppa's floating. Well, I hope we get back to normal. All right, oh, cool. Just, damn, what a magic trick that was. Right, anyway, all we're going to do is follow the boat signs. Just keep heading all the way to the left until we get to Big Pepperoni's house. So this is where the world adventures start then. Almost 10 minutes and you're thinking, where's my world adventure? We're gonna interact with the car. Hell yeah, dog. We are definitely going on a cruise ship. This is apparently one of the greatest cruise ships in the world because what it can do, we can actually go to Australia in this cruise ship. So we can start heading upside down and you know, it's awesome. Right, after the cutscene is done, we're gonna interact with the board here. So just press the A button on the board. I'm just going to go to the first place, which is going to be New York City in the top left-hand corner. Now, I've got a big question about New York City. Fantastic food, yes. But then, basically, is New York just completely randomly just rammed all the time, just busy? And as we see, because we're going to be doing a little driving section now. Again, all very easy. I don't think you can crash, which really would have made the game way more intense and exciting if we could. Uh, but anyway, after Miss Rabbit here, the American Rabbit, make sure to grab your suitcase and then just head to the right. And then we're going to go for a ride in a New York taxi. Is is that even a is that even a New York accent? Is that even an American accent? I don't know. Right. So what you can do then, if you want to go a little bit faster, again, skip any cutscenes that you can. So obviously you'll have to move uh, to the left stick to go left, and then just again, it's very easy. You're just following all the gaps really. So when you see a gap, go up. And then up and down and all around. So is this what New York City is like? Just, man, I could not handle this. I don't know how anyone drives in New York City. I would have crashed and I, in fact, I wouldn't even bother getting a license. I'll just walk and get mugged somewhere. I'd rather that. Why couldn't they have just, like, made an extra city called New New... New New York York City? 
and then there would have been less traffic, maybe, if that is a thing. Right, anyway, once we've skipped the cutscene, before heading inside, go to the left here, and on this uh, um, mail bin, mail whatever it is, mail thing, there is a souvenir. So make sure to pick up the Isle of Nye souvenir. And once that's done, let's go up to the top floor. Oh, I miss rabbit. Yeah, noise. Right, so from here, just keep hitting the A button until the elevator light hits all the way to the top. And unlike Leonardo DiCaprio in the Titanic, where he reckons he's top of the world, we are actually top of the world now. Um, right, so after skipping the cutscene, interact with the telescope, and just keep heading all the way to the right until you can see a tree, the Brooklyn Bridge, and the Golden Statue of Liberty, who Pepper calls a green woman with an ice cream. Top job. Actually, that's Central Park. There's a very old castle in it too. Can you see it? That is the Brooklyn Bridge. It used to be the longest bridge in the world. Look! A bakery lady with an ice cream! Well, that's the Statue of Liberty. It's the most famous landmark in the city. Holy moly, we're back already. Wow, what a day. So, apparently our dad's, uh, or mother, of course, is still sorting out the house. So what we're going to do is just interact with the car again. When we can. So there we go. As soon as, you, as soon as you see it there, we can just interact with the car to go back to the harbour. That's what we're going to be doing for the majority of the game. As soon as we come back, interact with the car to go back to the harbour. Not David Harbour. Oh, I would like to meet David Harbour. Uh, but yeah, so... We just gone to New York and back while our dad is still messing around with the house. So, um, <laughs> sorry, Pa, I've seen New York and you haven't. Right, so again, head to the right here to interact with the board. This time we're going to be going to the second place, which is Eichschneis, Germany. I don't know if Eichschneis is even um, words in Germany, but, well, you know, that's where we're off anyway. Ah, they all look very nice, which they do. I would actually love to visit all these countries, you know? But since I have no money yet, until I get to at least maybe uh, maybe Macca subscribers and views, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Right, so it, go ahead and interact with the Christmas tree. And Clemens is right, this tree is enormous. That was French, not German, apparently. Right, go to the right first and interact with the star stall to pick up a star, of course. And then just head back to the left to the Christmas tree and press the A button to somehow put it right at the top. Somehow nobody else had a ladder, so we had to do it. Head to the right, grab one of the bows, and then again somehow put that right high as hell on the tree. Don't know how you're doing that, but that's incredible stuff that we've got. Head to the left, and we are going to now grab a... My eyes are bad, but whatever that is. Candy cane. Jesus, I thought they were bells. Oh man, I'm getting old. I need some glasses. I need some rainbow glasses, bruh. And then finally, head all the way to the left to grab Bauble. Put that on the Christmas tree. And that is the shortest trip that anyone's ever done to Germany. I'm not making any jokes about anything else. Germany is done. So I'd love to stay and chat. Now, does Germany, if Germany actually looks like this in Christmas, I would love to come at Christmas time. So anyway, head to the left. Pepper's going to say, you sure you want to leave? You just keep on heading to the left. Say, <coughs> excuse me, Pepper, this is actually my game, not yours, because I'm the main character, but, you know, awkward. Right, so now we're back. We just come straight back to the harbour after the cutscene. So once again, head all the way to the right, and then we are going to the third place, which is... Bleh. It's... That place. 
Barcelona, man, in old Spain, of course, I remember that. Let's go to Barcelona! Right, so once we arrive in Barcelona, just keep heading to the right for the time being. We are going to interact with a particular flower stall in order to grab that souvenir. Look at all these... And it will be the obvious one which Pep has just pointed out. So make sure to pick up this flower and then just keep heading literally all the way to the right again you can interact with things if you want to hear some dialogue but if not you can just keep on heading all the way to the right ignore every amazing building which man they look like big gingerbread sticks and i'm up all for that uh, just keep heading all the way to the right anyway until we get to the beach because that's the only reason people go to barcelona right for the beach and and for grown-ups to get merry as it were off Big adult juice. That was from the stools. Right, once we are here then, we are going to play football. So press the A button next to the football. And then all we're doing then, literally three times, is kicking the ball all the way to the right until you score. Now, of course, Barcelona are winning La Liga at the time of recording. That's because for a team with absolutely no money and are in an incredible debt, have managed to sign anyone more than anyone. Rafinha, Lewandowski and all of them. Obviously, if you don't know football, you wouldn't have a clue what I'm on about. But basically, somehow, Barcelona, which has no money. Wait, Daddy Pig, you son of a god. Anyway, yeah, Barcelona, who have absolutely no money have managed to, it's basically like you, you've got no money, but somehow you've just managed to buy a £600, you know, brand new 3D 4K TV um, with a couple of Xboxes and Playstations. It's it's kind of kind of similar to that. So once we are back home anyway, and we have completed that, we're going to get back in the car, we're going straight back to the harbour, interact with the board once again to go to the next place. is New York. Germany has some in Barcelona. Australia is very... Are you sure you want to go here? Great choice. It looks very nice. Right. All aboard, everyone. Oh, my! What a rooting, tooting good time. We're off to Australia now. I would love to go to Australia because the accent needs a, a, a bit of flicking up, to be honest. Right, so head to the right anyway when we get to Kali Kangaroo's house. Is it a good accent? Oh, I hope so, mate. Right, what you can do, you can just press the A button here to go faster. You can press the X button to jump a couple of times if you want. Apparently, Australia is in the near future, where they've got hopping minivans, which is pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Put another shrimp on the barbie. Right, make sure to grab the shell here off the beach. This is another souvenir, which we do need, of course, for an achievement. So make sure to pick up the seashell there from the beach before heading right into the little submarine, the SP-350. Right, once you have uh, skipped this cutscene and we're going to head down, move all the way to the right. I thought you could, you'd be able to grab stuff, but you can't. Uh, but just head all the way to the right until we see the treasure chest and that will give us the opportunity to skip another couple of cutscenes. <laughs> Oh yeah, plus get the achievement there for finding the treasure, of course. Right, so somehow we've managed to get a cruise ship all the way around the world in what appears to be no time at all. We are going to leave Pepper. The Australian sun is baking my bum. So we are getting out of here. Um, 
But yeah, literally, Australia is definitely one of the places I want to visit before, you know, well, before, eh, you know, before it's too late. So once we are back then, and apparently the pigs are yet to tan, well, I suppose the pigs will turn into bacon, so you don't want them to tan too much, we're going to go to the next place now, which is Landan. Landan. Now, of course... London is fantastic. Um, if you love people who just love barging into you all the time, if uh, if you want to see people that are quite miserable, uh, prices are sky high. You know, it's about £27 for a Greg's pasty. And if you want to be jammed on the train um, for the majority of your journeys, then London is the place to go. There are, there are some happy people as well. This is also pretty awkward. Hello, Queen. Uh, but... Head to the right anyway, as you can see, and then we're going to skip another couple of cutscenes here. And what you just need to do is press the Y button. And then the uh, X button. Then the B button when it appears. And then press the A button. And that is the Queen's Secret Ding Dong. Dilly Dilly Dong. Of course, um, and then what we're going to do is just press and hold the A button. And Queen Elizabeth here. I genuinely believe she probably would have done this. Uh, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth, by the way. Uh, she was definitely one of the fun ones. Um, king Charles, old sausage fingers, is in charge now, of course. Uh, all the power to the king, etc., etc. Right, just move to the right here on the bus, because for some reason, all the weight... <laughs> we were the one holding all the weight, even though Daddy Pig's probably a couple of stone heavier, I reckon. And, of course, because it is London, it's raining and tipping down. Right, so head to the left. What we're going to do first is grab another souvenir. It's going to be this umbrella. So make sure to grab this umbrella to the left as another achievement unlocks. Next, head all the way to the right, and we're going to do some putty, putty jumping. Muddy, no, water jumping. Yeah, that'll do, with Pepper. So just like at the beginning of the game, press the A button and keep spamming the A button. And again, my daughter loves doing this because it rains constantly and there's puddles everywhere. So, that's just, ah, she's a good fun one. <laughs> right, after this, we're just going to head to the left to jump in some muddy puddles. And then you can jump in the middle puddle and then you can skip the cutscene. We're a very nice dedication to the Queen here from P-Tunes and Outright. Come on, Your Majesty. Come on, jump in the So after that little bit of a tearjerker right there, rest in peace, old Queen Elizabeth. And we can get back in the car to cheer ourselves up. We're going to go on holiday somewhere else. Again, if you want to go and check in on your mother or your father, just to make sure that they're still all good, unpacking the house while we go on holidays with a completely random family that we've just met, all good. Right, head to the board again. And we've got two destinations left to visit, plus a, uh, sort of a secret one at the end of the game. So, the next one is going to be Italy. And again, Italy. Oh, man. I would love to go to Italy. In fact, I tell you what, when I do get that Mac of money uh, rolling in some at some point, I want to meet everyone that I possibly can, all of my subscribers um, from different parts of the country. That would be super cute. Right, head to the right anyway. And then all the way to the right again to get into the town where we can skip yet another cutscene. And I will do that, because I want to go to all these countries, by the way. Um, again, right, head to the right, and you're going to see a gnome. So after you speak to our long-lost relative, apparently. You're my auntie. You're my Italian auntie. So go ahead and grab one of the gnomes. This is another souvenir that we are going to grab. So make sure to pick up the gnome. 
Grandad Pig's not going to be very happy because uh, Granny Pig has a mega obsession. Uh, yes, I have watched too much Peppa Pig, thanks to having kids. Uh, it, everyone knows that anyway. So what we're going to do, we are going to cook a pizza now. Cook a very beautiful Italian pizza pie. So head to the pizza. Uh, again, it's obviously very easy. So all you got to do then is just pick up the ingredients. So all four of these. Pick them up. And our little Italian fantastically moustached chef. We'll pop that one on. So just do all four. A little. A little. Perfect. Now we need. And for this part then, all you got to do is just simply hold the A button until the pizza is done. And we can go ahead then and take it to old Pappenhausen Piggin. Feel kind of bad for my dad now. We're going on holidays everywhere on a cruise ship and our dad's just left at home. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of sad. If you go on holidays, go on, son. Take your parents with you. And I'm only hoping that if my kids watch any of my guides in the future for some particular reason, you know, that there's a hint right there. Take me on holidays, kids. Right, so, Jesus Christ, Daddy Pig, you at that quick. Right, head to the right anyway. Now you should get two achievements here after you interact with the post box. You should have got the one for cooking a pizza and you should have got eight souvenirs on our travels. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. So now we're going to head all the way back to the left to go to our anti stall to grab a postcard. <laughs> Of course, I only say she's my auntie because uh, we're a goat as well. Whatever animal you picked, she's probably not your auntie. Or she is. Who knows in this messed up world? Right, head all the way to the right. Now, I went a little bit far, but what you have to basically do next is speak to Mummy Pig, who will pen the postcard, write something on the postcard. Then you can go ahead and pop it in the envelopey mailboxy. you like to write on your postcard, Pap? Well, it's getting late. Here we are back home again. Oh my God, I feel travel sick. So back into the car, we've got one more place to go. So skip all the cutscenes, interact with the board, and then interact with the final destination at the very bottom, which is... Bleh. I forget again. This is New York. Germany has some in Barcelona. Australia. London is our Italy. This is Paris. Where you... Are you sure you... Great choice. It looks very nice. Right. Oh. Of course, of course, it is the Paris. Saint Paris, Le Francais, beautiful. Oh, excuse me, Daddy Pig. Who are you having a coffee with? Oh, Mommy Pig, Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig's having a coffee with a rabbit. Quick, kick him in the butt. Anyway, apparently, he's just doing that while Mummy Pig's getting a souvenir, which is just disgusting, frankly. Uh, so, after after the shock, really, of Daddy Pig having a coffee with another lady, um, after this part, we can just head all the way up to the right, go inside the elevator, and when we can, we're going to hold the elevator to go up. Now, Daddy Pig, don't even, don't even come here smiling, mate. I just caught you with another woman having coffee, yeah? We all know what that means. It, it means nothing. It means you're just being friendly with another lady, of course. Right. Once we are up here and we're still getting over the shock of Daddy Pig's enough, uh, head to the right and interact with the right side and then go to the stairs and then interact with those. And that'll be the end of our French vacation. Arc de Triomphe. 
And that, of course, is... The Eiffel Tower! Correct. It's one of the most famous landmarks in the whole world. Can you see the Cathedral of Notre Dame? It has two big towers. That building has two big towers. I see it. I see it. Well done. The window looks like a flower. You're right. It does. This was so much fun. Some of the quickest holidays ever planned. Right, we're all done with holidays now, so we can head to the right. What we're going to do is basically just end up going back to our house. So, you should know what your house looks like. Depends how you customised it. Anyway, remember to get back on your bike, press the A button to go faster. Run, run, run! we we got to we got to tell our dad. Mate, sorry I've just been on holiday. I've been to Australia and all sorts, but you should have seen it. Hello, Grandad Pig. Should have seen it. Daddy Pig. Oh, having cof coffee and croissants. With a beautiful French lady rabbit thing. Oh, Mummy Pig was not happy. That's why I've decided to stop going on holidays with them now, honestly. Right. So, I, <laughs> I don't want to pick up the chicken. We're just going to go inside our house. And... Oh, mate, I bet you're happy we're back. I bet you've been wondering where we are. Just on a cruise ship, chilling out. Anyway, what we'll get is another achievement here for getting some Hollywood tickets. This will be our last destination. We've got a few things to do here first. So what you're gonna do is just keep heading to the right. I accidentally went up the stairs. You don't need to do that just yet. Um, we need to head all the way into the right, into the kitchen and then into the living room. So just go ahead and do that. The umbrella is of course, just one of the souvenirs. A couple of souvenirs, uh, Pepper. I bet you remember we were only there half hour ago, kid. So head all the way to the right and she will talk about a sock. And now what we need to do then is interact with Naughty Tiddles the Toy Toys. Now, uh, Tiddles here is going to be in a random location, so we basically have to find him now. So for me, she, uh, Tiddles was in the bin. So if you want to have a check in the bin first, I'd uh, highly recommend doing that. If Tiddles is not in there, she's going to be in one of the two rooms upstairs. So you'll either be on the room in the right underneath the bed. So just go ahead and interact with the bed. If old Tiddy's the tortoise is not going to be there. She's a tortoise, mate. She don't talk. She's not going to answer you, Peps. Sorry. No Pepsi bags. Head all the way to the left into the next room. And interact with the filing cabinet. Nope. Nothing in here either. Again, it's going to be random. Maybe in there for you. If you have found Tiddles by now, we can just simply head outside and then start heading all the way to the right to play group. Um, but again, for me, Tiddles the Tortenhausen was in the bin. Jeez, oh, man. Come on. There you are, mate. How the heck did you get in the bin? Anyway, where is Tiddles? That'll be the next achievement you get. So now, we, like I said, we can head outside. And now we can start heading all the way to the right until we get to play group and all the way to the right until we get to the playground where all the kids are playing. And the reason we need to do this, we are just going to go and see Mandy Mouse, who is uh, playing basketball. All we've got to do is just interact with her once. The achievement for playing basketball will unlock, and then we can just press the B button to quit out. Now, I decide to uh, throw Mandy Mouse a bit of a ball, because, you know, she was nice enough to give us the ball, wasn't she? So, thank you very much. Right, so we've just got one achievement left now, and that is for going to Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. So what we need to do is head all the way to the left, go to Pepper's house, get in the car, go to the harbour, 
And then we need to interact with the very bottom postcard, which will be Holy World. Yeah. Hello? It's always nice to see you. I... You want to go here? Let's go to Highway! Woohoo! There they are! Super Potato and SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, got the SpongeBob from, uh, if you ordered him from Wish, by the way. Um, no, just joking. That's a hash brown, but it definitely looks more SpongeBobby. Right, so what we're going to do is just head all the way to the right until we see Super Potato and SpongeBob hash brown pants. Uh, one day, one day, the Welsh Hunter sign is going to be on one of these stars. I, I guarantee it. Or maybe it'll be one of the stars for, um, you know, content YouTube guide makers. That'll be nice. Anyway, here we go then. Um, SpongeBob hash brown pants and Super Potato there will be doing a thing. We're going to go in the middle of them, press the A button. And all we've got to do a couple of times then is go and catch a couple of carrots. And that will unlock us the last achievement. Some carrots on the left, carrots on the right, carrots in the middle. And that'll be job done. We've gone everywhere around the world in 80 sort of minutes, seconds. So once it's over, as I said, you will unlock the last achievement called We Are Movie Stars. That's all 12 achievements done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. A uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. You guys and gals are still legends of the earth. And a big shout out again to Outright Games for, uh, for the code in which to bring in this game and for letting me be part of the OG Ambassadors Club. Damn, yes. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Right. That's all then, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.